But sir, right into it, you know, one of the things we talk about is mostly aviation and you've got kind of the coolest story of kind of making your own way. How'd you get in aviation? Oh, yeah, I'm lucky as hell. And by the way, very cool, uh, like intro video made me want to go fly. So <laughs> did, did it make you want to go back? Because that was I found that and I'm like, oh, it's going to be a cool countdown. And then they they did the count like two different people are doing a countdown. So it kind of like 10, 9 and then the next 10, 9. I actually just meant the T thirty eight flying. I was like, just <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, oh, thanks yeah. for that. That's yeah, awesome. I pre appreciate that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm super lucky. I've had like a very unusual aviation career that's kind of paralleled my day job. And um, I mean, really, just in kindergarten, I just, I always, I mean, I wanted to be an astronaut. And um, you know, I. Uh, I mean, I checked out like picture books of the space shuttle and told my kindergarten teacher I wanted to be an astronaut. And then like, you know, you get somewhat realistic, but, um, uh, it, you know, I watched movies like Top Gun and the right stuff and Space Camp. And I was like, you know what, being a pilot is going to be, you know, pretty cool. Like that's, um, you know, it's probably as good as it's going to get. And um, built my first computer to play, you know, Falcon 3.0. Uh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes. Yeah. The correct jet, Gonky. Yeah. <laughs> Debatable. Yeah, he's a Viper guy, Gonky. Always, always a Viper. Um, you know, went to Aviation Challenge, which is kind of part of Space Camp when I was 12 or 13. And um, and then just started flying uh, as soon as I could and never stopped. And it wound up being like a whole parallel career of air show flying and record flights. And then, you know, we started an ad air business called Draken. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. I still remember at, you know, it was probably like 2015 at our company Christmas party right after we got our first, you know, government contract. I was, I, I was like, look, commercial space is probably the coolest thing out there. And this is long before I ever thought I'd have an opportunity at this. The second coolest thing is to be professional bad guys, um, you know, paid to, to fight every day, uh, you know, the, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marine Corps. So anyway, it's been a, been a cool journey, um, you know, for the last 20 some odd years. Were any of your... Uh... Was any of your family in aviation before you, or are they, you know, did they, they influence you at all? No, no, I like the, oh. the pilots, my family or anyone in that field just was always a kind of a passion since I was a kid. Wow. wow. I well, think I mean, it's, my parents, like, um, they just put me in front of the TV. Like that was the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched movies and I was like, man, this is cool. I don't feel so bad now. I do that to my kids. <laughs> so how far along into your, cause you started at a young age with your business and, and kind of growing that at what point did you say, Hey, I want to go get my pilot's license and start pursuing aviation just as a, uh, either a passion or as a, a career even. Yeah. So I started my company when I was 16 and, uh, it was when I was 20 that I was, uh, it was kind of like waking up on my keyboard. Cause it's like long before I had a family or kids like, so your only responsibility in life is not screwing up your business. And um, I was like, man, I'm burning myself out here. I need something else in my life. So, um, yeah, so it was 21 years ago uh, that I started flying and I just didn't stop. Wow. Did you ever think, I mean, when you first started, started flying, obviously it's just something that you want to do for yourself. But like at what point were you like, man, I'd, I'd like to I'd like to take this further than just me being a pilot and flying myself around. Uh, so. I mean, kind of pretty quick, like I knew I wanted to fly jets and then there was always kind of the next the next challenge. So, you know, once I started building up jet time and going to like, you know, Oshkosh and realized, oh, wow, people can own, you know, ex-military aircraft. I, I'm, def this, I'm definitely down for this. And uh, so in I think 2008, I got an L-39 and then a T-33. And then uh, I think in 2009, I, I, um, I started flying the Collings Foundation um, A-4 Skyhawk. And that, that was like my first air show exposure because uh, I took it to uh, Oshkosh for like a Vietnam heritage flight with an F-4. And um, wow. and then I was like, I was totally digging formation flying and the idea of just get a bunch of jets and put a paint job on them. Uh, <laughs> I really did formation, flying and formation aerobatics. So that that's kind of how it all. But it was I, I was always trying to think of like what was the next, you know, best challenge. So your yeah. demo team was before Draken, right? That's what actually got you that direction. Like, so was it? It was all L thirty nines at first. We had L, uh, we had five L thirty nines and two Mig seventeens. Uh, so it was a, a seven ship, and um, 
yeah, that they, pretty much everyone who flew on the team was a co-founder of Draken. And we just knew at some point, you know, the odds would catch up with us, uh, like every formation jet team. And there's got to like, we're having the time of our lives. There's got to be some way to kind of pivot this into something that, you know, actually has some real commercial value. Like, a, you know, it's a service that people want that, that we'll get paid for. And, you know, maybe like we can keep the fun factor up, but maybe, you know, not 10 feet off the deck. Please.